Joel. Yeah. Joel. Uh, Joel. Joel. Uh, I know you for many years, and it's a uh, occasion of pride to be sitting in your cabin as editor of the Goan. What are the challenges of being an editor of a newspaper in Goa today? Yeah, Rico. Um, starting a newspaper is always challenging because we are actually placed in in a space where there are already established players. So you know, driving this newspaper and co- at competing, you know, is obviously challenging from the news point of view. You know, also from uh, the market perspective. Yeah, carry on, carry on. Uh, so yes. Uh, the plus point is you know we have a senior team here you know we have very you know, experienced journalists uh, designers and um, lot of space for news and lot of news in the lot paper. of news yeah yeah we have a good network of correspondents you know some of them are very senior journalists and, and dedicated people so yes we uh, we provide the maximum local coverage i believe like you know five pages of local content five pages five pages out of a 12 page and uh, Yes, uh, we have recently tied up with the free press also for our national content, so that helps us. And you all try to be different from the rest. Uh, yes, you know, in a sense, you know, when we started this paper, we thought that you know, being hyper local is the way forward. You know, we will uh, pitch for the Goan, uh, the Goan, the Goan, the Goan, as, 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 as the Goan, yeah, yeah. 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 individually. And uh, all stories concern evolving around Goa and the Goan. So whether it is abroad, whether it's in Goa. So that was one way where we can establish ourselves and create that kind of a space, you know, in between this uh, other uh, big players in the market. Sister publications are uh, Bangar Mui, the Konkani paper, and yeah. and Prudent Network. So you all no. share content with them? No, we sister content. We have uh, we, it's a Fomento Media group. Yeah. Okay. In the Fomento Media, we have the Goan uh, English, English paper, Goan Varta Marathi, Bangar Mui Marathi Konkani. Konkani. Uh, then we have Prudent TV, okay, and uh, we have uh, Konkan Saad, which is which is uh, Konkan Singhudu, paper, Konkan, Konkan paper based in Konkan, Konkan, Konkan region. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And is uh, content sharing possible between all of this, or just too too uh, daft? It doesn't uh, happen on a regular basis, but as and when uh, stories do develop and all, there there are times we share content. Of course, uh, we both belong to the training school of the yeah, Herald, yeah. and just a few minutes back, you were sharing with us this episode of. Uh, a very tragic episode where actually one of our journalists anthony fernandez was yeah, attacked in yeah, uh, in yeah, horseshoe yeah, yeah. tell us what you remember about it because it's a piece of history which uh, you know many of yeah, us don't know yeah it was know. in the 90s uh, early 90s when uh, you know we were doing the night shift you know myself derek julio de silva uh, we went for dinner at avanti uh, around 9:30 Somewhere at that time, you know, and uh, Anton and Norman Dantas, who was the assistant editor there, no, uh, Anthony was the chief reporter. So they were having uh, a drink at um, Horseshoe. Very close very to close, the Herald Old very Post close. Office. It's just uh, not even yeah, 100 meters. Locality. Yeah. So suddenly, when we returned uh, by about 10 o'clock, you know, Norman Dantas came back to the office, all trembling and 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 uh, you know very upset, upset agitated, agitated and. I remember he could not even dial the phone, you know, to call up the police, and Derek helped him to, you know, call up the police, and then we rushed back to uh, Horseshoe to see uh, Anthony uh, lying in a pool of blood under the chairs. Under the chairs? Yeah, he was under attack, uh, and probably uh, Vasquez, who was the owner of Horseshoe, uh, I mean, was instrumental in saving his life actually because he he defended him by, you know. Throwing bottles really? all over, yeah. My goodness, I remember reading this, but this is the first time I'm listening to to. Yeah, and and then he was semi-conscious. Uh, semi-conscious. And, yeah, and he, he was trembling all over. He was full of blood. He got cuts on his uh, head, and uh, his uh, he was shifted immediately to police came over and he was shifted to GMC. But but wow. it was very very close. What a story, yeah. yeah. Just one last question: What are the challenges of uh, new people entering the field? Uh, do you get the kind of people you are looking for? Do you want them to have more skills? Rico, are we doing a good job in training? Uh, is Goa doing a job in training young people, or there is a gap? Rico, there is a huge vacuum. You know, I, I, I believe the old school is dying. The old school of journalism is is no longer in. I mean, very few people scattered here and there. But the new breed which is coming is really not coming over. If you, I right now I have a vacancy. You know I'm struggling to get a person on the news desk, uh, and and it's it's.
it's very difficult. We have approached schools, you know, St. Javier's and uh, Don Bosco's and even Goa University. But uh, people are afraid really of night shift. People are afraid of night shift. They are not very savvy about the about the print media. They like to go into maybe social media is the new, next thing. PR. I mean, they want to go into PR, public relations, and television, and television, television, and all that. So print media, the spotlight is completely. It seemed to be out of fashion, but I I yeah, tell you, it's really amazing. The it's kind really of amazing. It's really exciting. But I don't know why people still don't find it attractive. I mean, I I really don't. What know. were the What were the most enjoyable parts of your stint? I mean, you've been a desk man throughout, and the yeah, desk yeah, yeah, desk yeah. doesn't get enough for glamour and appreciation for their yeah, work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what were your high points? Where in in the Herald? Or All over, or, wherever. Yeah. Uh, high points means like the challenges of the night shift. You know, we have we shared good memories. You know, you yeah. know, night shift were well, like you know high point. I can say now leading a team is a high point. You know, leading a high yeah. team of with, with the responsibility. With the responsibilities, there are uh, there are. Uh, I mean, it's not just the editorial work. You yeah. Know, you have the There's so much more. There's so much more. Uh, licensing with uh, people, then uh, interacting with the management on and off, uh, deciding on policies, finances. Wow, a lot of things. So you know, it keeps me busy from morning to night. I can well imagine. It's it's it's, <laughs> it's a it's a thankless but a crucial job. In very crucial sense. job, thankless job, and it's uh, like a. Uh, I'll tell you very honestly, I've been in the chair now for five years, but okay. uh, never a break. And never a break. Never a break. Not even an off day. Oh shucks. Yeah, and and it's it's draining, but you know somewhere you have to manage yourself. You know you need to know when to break off, maybe for a short time, and then come back. And it's it's hard. It's, it's hard. It's I, know, I know. Tough. I it's know. I tough. know. Because you know, and now with uh, the pandemic coming over, and, um, and now everything is connected. I yeah. mean, you cannot be saying saying that you know I'm not available because I am. I stay in Salsit. But you know, you open your laptop, yeah. you're on Zoom straight yeah. away. There is a meeting with one person sitting in UK. You're here. Your directors are here. And it happens so fast. So basically, it's it keeps you on your toes. But it's it's good. It's challenging, and it's it's uh, exciting. Thanks a ton for yeah. sharing this very important uh, part of our journalism story in Goa. Thank you, Joel. All the very best. Thanks, Rico.